Welcome back to Face the Nation. We're now going to look at privacy, surveillance, and the future of technology. This debate may feel brand new, but 30 years ago, New Year's Day, this very broadcast was devoted to privacy and surveillance, asking the question first raised by George Orwell's groundbreaking book, 1984. That question, does the government know too much about all of us? Take a look. And welcome to 1984. 1984, the year, not the book. Or is it? Spy cameras scan our banks and even our streets. And computer data banks compile lists of information on everyone. We're all leaving an electronic trail behind every time we use a credit card or place a phone call. I think in the United States, Big Brother was born in twins. Guest Robert Smith was the editor of the Privacy Journal. Does anybody uh, here think that we are fast approaching the 1984 that George Orwell described in his book? Well, the technology's gone far beyond that. We not only have camera surveillance that uh, Orwell foresaw, but we have computers which he did not uh, foresee. We don't have the political climate, clearly, for a total surveillance society. However, there are other societies across the seas that do have that total surveillance uh, mentality, so that uh, if you combine our technical sophistication with their political uh, attitudes, you do have 1984, and that's rather scary. Well, 30 years later, the internet and cell phones have revolutionized global communications and given all of us, whether we want them or not, digital fingerprints that governments and private companies collect and scrutinize. Where should we draw the line?